Hi Pinks, welcome to Tony's Kitchen. Today we've got a simple but yummy dish again. It's roast top side of beef. Absolutely gorgeous that's going to be. And we're just going to roast off lots of different veg actually. I shouldn't do that because it's a bit naughty. But hey, I'm having sweet corn out of a tin. Um, I may get some greens as well. But everything else is going to be roasted. It's going to be yum yum. Speak to you soon. Mm. Okay, welcome back. We've got the veg all cut up and ready to go. I've um, chopped in some garlic in there. It's gorgeous it's gonna be nice it is and in bits I'm going to put in a pan with a little bit of butter sweat them off a little bit then add water and that forms the basis of my stock the meat is in the oven um, put it in quite high for about 10-15 minutes to seal the edges and then I'll turn it down by about uh, 20 centigrade and we'll put the veg in because we're gonna have it quite rare today we are so it's going to take about um, ooh, 45 minutes to an hour to cook everything and we'll speak to you soon. Hello, welcome back again. So I'm uh, just checking the veg, it looks good so I'm going to put them back in the oven. Excuse me, one handed approach. There you go, the beef's looking good under there too. It's got a lovely colour coming to it. I'll pull the beef out in a second. So over here I decided to do proper old gravy because this will be the the icing on the top of the cake. So I browned the, those veg bits off in some butter um, and then added water, hence the water's brown and they've been reducing quite a bit so it'll be full of flavour. You can add a, a stock cube or something like that if you want so if you don't want to brown the veg and spend ages doing this. Over here I've got some butter melting, um, ounce of butter, ounce of flour, give about a pint of uh, sauce or gravy whatever you want to make so I'm going to um, add the butter to the or add the flour to the butter cook it out for about five minutes maybe even ten minutes so the roux actually goes brown as well which will also help my sauce to end up being brown as well so um, that's it for now we will speak to you soon just for I show you I hope you can see um, in case you want me and you don't use scales um, I've put the butter in, put the flour in, and what I want is a bit of a sandy texture. Um, so it's, it's looking a bit sandy at present. It's uh, all come together as you can see. So I'm going to cook it out for about, as I said, about five minutes, maybe even ten, uh, at a low heat so it goes brown, cooks up all the gluten in there, and um, gets me ready for a nice base to the, to the sauce, to the gravy. Okay, um, still going? Yeah, that's still going. Speak to you soon. Okay, folks, we're here again. The roux's been nicely browning off. So what I'm doing now, I've, I've, um, I've drained my stock into a little jug. And I'm just pouring little bits in at a time. You want it just like that, so, it's, so it takes the water or the liquid straight away. And it smells like nuts. It's very nutty in flavour. And as you can see, it's browning up. So the gravy will end up brown, which is fantastic. So we'll take all this water, at least a pint, that um, mix we did. And we'll have a lovely load of gravy. So I might flavour with God knows what later on, but we'll flavour it with something. Okay, that's it for now. That's how to start your gravy and create a fantastic sauce. Just keep adding the liquid and uh, you'll get some beautifully thick. If you add too much like that, just let it boil up for a while. Spread it. Don't try and mix it because you'll get lumps. Just give it some of that. And when all the water's or the liquid's really hot, give it a mix. Perfect. Okay, that's it. Speak to you soon. Okay, so I've added all the liquid now. As you can see, it's pretty thick. Um, just over a pint gone in there. But um, it's going to cook out and just develop its flavour for about, I don't know, maybe another 15 minutes because these bits probably need about another 15 minutes. And then we're ready for sure. I'll take the meat out in maybe five, give it 10 minutes to rest. And then. Um, we're going to be good to go. Okay, people, we're ready with our little um, ghetto lunch. Lots of roasted vegetables there. We've got carrots, parsnips, sweet potatoes, some garlic, chili, roast potatoes, as in regular. Got a top side of beef here, medium rare, looking absolutely gorgeous. God knows if you can see as well. you can see what I can see, but it looks good. And we've got cold sweet corn out the tin, we're going to have with that. And this, uh, it's, it's much more than a gravy, but it's a basic gravy, um, made beautifully thick, um, and I've added about 
a cap of ports just for some aroma and actually a little bit of flavour. And that's it, we're going to enjoy our little dinner. Uh, let's plate one up and um, we'll say goodbye. Okay then people, so we're done now. Thick, gorgeous. Tell me that is. Mm. Can you smell the port on it now too? You can't believe I'm smelling it. Roxy can. She ain't getting that. Roxy, you're saying not getting them, maybe. This is um. This is gonna be good. This is gonna be good. Well, that's it. We. Oh, I forgot my sweet corn. Hold on a minute. Let me get a spoon. Sweet corn out of the tin. Got to make a little bit ghetto, wouldn't we? You know what I mean? Oh. Should really put it over the top of this one, shouldn't I, really? But I didn't. I'll sprinkle on this one. Oh, that looks awesome. Safe, mister. Should we enjoy? Oh, yeah. Let's go. We're going to go on